Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to perform mathematical operations on groups of cells in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now, for illustration purposes, I have a spreadsheet up in front of me that has a bunch of statistics from the recent NFL season. And although this might be useful data, depending on how you want to use it, uh, one of the problems that you might have when you're trying to compile this data is that you want to show some aggregate functions on the data. In other words, for example, we have this one column here, and this column here shows the total yards from scrimmage um, for, all, for all the teams throughout the season. But what if you wanted to find out the total number of yards that were, that were gained by every single team? Well, there are a couple different ways we could do this. The very slow and painful way is we could drag out a calculator and we could go through here and we could start adding up every possible value in a column, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Obviously, that's slow, that's painful, and that's not the way that we want to do this. Instead, there are much more convenient ways to do this in Microsoft Excel. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go here and select all this data in this column, all these yards from scrimmage. And once I have that all selected, I'm right here on the Home tab that comes up by default when you open Excel. And I'm going to go over to the Editing section. And under the Editing section, you're going to find this Sigma, or some, it's a summation button is what it is. Uh, but the, the sign, uh, the symbol that you see on the summation button is the Sigma sign, which is the uh, Greek sign for, that, that's used in math to, to show summation. So what we're going to do is just click that button. Once we click that, what it does is it actually adds a new piece of data here below all the data that, that I've selected. In this cell now has the sum total of all the values that were in these cells. In fact, another shorthand way to see it is that when I select this right here, if I go up to my formula bar up here, you can see it's the sum of F2 to F33. This is F2, and it goes all the way down to F33. So that's what this is here. And that's going to be a dynamic sum. In other words, it will update in the event that any of these values here change. So if I go here and change this to 2000 and hit enter, notice that my value down here goes up. If I were to go here and change it to 50, once again, my value here now goes down. In other words, this is always going to be the active summation of the cells from F2 to F33. I'll give you another example. The column to the left of it is total points. But what if we wanted to know the total points that were scored not just by any particular team in the season, but the total points that were scored by all teams throughout the season? Well, the easy way to do that would be to sum all of these together. So I'm going to select this entire range of data. And again, I'm going to push my summation button which looks like the sigma sign. And once I click that, I now have a value here, which is 11,104. So all 32 teams in the NFL combined throughout the 2007-2008 NFL season scored 11,104 points. Of course, summation is not the only thing that you might want to do to the, to the data. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to delete these values, first of all. And when you delete, you can do it one of two ways. You can right-click, you can choose the delete option, or you can just grab those values, uh, select them, and hit the delete key on your, on your keyboard. But once I have those deleted, now I'm going to, to do some different mathematical operations. So I'm going to grab the same column of data, the total points. And this time, when I go over to the summation sign, the sigma symbol, instead of just pushing it or clicking it, I'm going to click this small down arrow on the right. And once I do, it's going to open up another menu. And you can see I have some other interesting options here. I can average, I can show the count of numbers, or I can show the min or the max. So for example, let's do average. And now we can see that for all the data that was selected here, the average value is 347. And again, you can see the results of this up here in the formula bar. It shows you that this is the average of the values in cells E2 to E33. 
here's E2, and here's e E33. All those values added together, divided by 32, are equal to 347. I'll show some other options as well. I'm going to again select all these values, click the down arrow that's next to the sum button, and this time I'm going to pick count numbers. And this is going to show me 32. What this means is that for all the cells that I selected, which were these here, it's going to tell me how many of them contained a number. In this case, it's 32 because there are 32 teams and every single one of them has a number in this column. Let's show some other values. Let's go to a different column here. We're going to go to uh, first downs per game. Okay. And I'm going to select all these values. And this time I'm going to click the down arrow next to the sum button. And I'm going to choose max. This will show me the highest value that was in those selected values. So in other words, for all the values from I2, to I33, the highest value is 24.6. And again, you can see that in the formula column here, it says equals the max of I2 to I33. And I can get the min as well, the minimum. So I'll select these same values, select the down arrow, and select min. And now it shows me that the smallest value is 13.6. And again, just like all the other uh, formulas that we've used, these are dynamic. In other words, they will change if the data itself changes. So the current minimum value in this column is 13.6. But if I were to go up here and change this to, say, 2, you'll see that my minimum value down here changed as well because I have now changed the total range of data. That concludes the tutorial. Thank you for using showmeacademy.com.